While an estimated three-quarters of the U.S. and U.K. populations believe in ghosts, Brian Cox, the popular TV professor, believes he has proof that don't exist. Professor Cox has pointed to the Large Hadron Collider the world's most powerful particle accelerator to explain why specters and phantoms are the stuff of fiction. Speaking on his BBC Radio 4 program The Infinite Monkey Cage, he said experiments carried out the LHC in Geneva, Switzerland, proved that the existence of the paranormal is inconceivable. The LHC is a 17-mile-long tunnel created using superconducting magnets that sit 100 m under the ground. It belongs to the European Organization of Nuclear Research, who use it to test out complex theories from particle physics. On an episode of his program centered around the topic of the paranormal, Professor Cox said, Before we ask the first question, I want to make a statement. We are not here to debate the existence of ghosts because they don't exist. If we want some sort of pattern that carries information about our living cells to persist and we must specify precisely what medium carries that pattern and how it interacts with the matter particles out of which our bodies are made. We must, in other words, invent an extension to the standard model of particle physics that has escaped detection at the Large Hadron Collider. That's almost inconceivable at the energy scales typical of the particle interactions in our bodies. In response, guest speaker, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, said, If I understand what you just declared, you just asserted that CERN, the European Center for Nuclear Research disproved the existence of ghosts. Professor Cox confirmed that this was the case. He added, I would say if there's some kind of substance that's driving our bodies, making my arms move and legs move, then it must interact with the particles out of which our bodies are made. And seeing as we've made high precision measurements of the ways that particles interact, then my assertion is there can be no such thing as an energy source that's driving our bodies.